<laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. You look fine. Got yeah. your pretty you got your pretty pink on today. <clears throat> yeah. I think you like pink. I like pink and I like purple. Ooh, pink and purple. Yes. And I also have same pink pen and purple pen. Yes, you do. Okay, well, you're the pink purple girl. <clears throat> so, how was your day today? Um, I had gone to the beach. I had ice cream, chips, and lollipop. Two ice creams and and chips and lollipop. Oh my land! You went to the beach? Yeah, to the here, there's all abilities for it. There will be all abilities that the child wants. Did you, didn't you have school? No. Today no is a festival. Oh, okay. Today's a festival. I see. Well, it's not a festival that you celebrate, is it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well... I think it's your turn to read, isn't it? Yes. Did you find something to read? I had classical stories. Classic stories for children. Okay, nice. Which one did you choose? I did 57. Yes, I'm going to read Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <clears throat> the darlings were a happy family living in London and had their lovely children, Wendley, John, and what's this? Wendley, uh, John, and Michael. One night, Amara's darling sat with their children and as they slept, she was Suddenly awaken. Who are you? She screamed. The boy leaped out of the window, leaving his shadow behind. The next evening, Amor and Amores Rowlings went out after the children were asleep. A strange attitude returned. His name was Peter Pan. He was accompanied by Tinkle Bell, a fairy who appeared as a ball of light. Peter, Peter found his shadow, but in the excitement, she shut Tinkle Bell, one of the drawers. Peter died uh, in one of the drawers. As Peter tried to get his shadow and stick to him again, Wendley, the daughter of the household, awakened. Hey, who are you? asked Wendley. I am Peter Pan, Peter Pan from Neverland. Peter told Wendley that he was run away from home and lived with fairies. Now, so that he would never have to grow up. Suddenly, Peter remembered Tinkerbell and he looked for her until she found her. In one of the nurse's dress, she was very small. Wendy could hardly see her. Peter told Wendy that, that he and Tinkerbell lived in Neverland with the lost boys, boys who had fallen out of their baby carriages. And 
and were never found again. He had come to Wendley's house to listen to her mother's telling stories. Peach asked Wendley to come with him to Neverland and also promised to teach the children to fly. After a little practice, they flew out of the window. In Neverland, the, Indian, the Indians helped to protect to protect the lost boys. Again, again, yes. against a group of, of mean fairies. This fairies. Wait a second. I think it's pirates. I think I can pronounce that correctly. Pirates? Yes, I think. Pirates. Lead by Captain Hook. Hook wanted to cap capture a crocodile. Crocodile is now following Hook at a slave one line. Peter, as Peter, was one who had torn off Hook's arm and filled feet it to a crocodile. A crocodile now following Hook everywhere, waiting to eat the rest of him. As Wendy and her brothers flew with Peter, the lost boy seeing Wendy, the first in the sky. Through that, she went to, to a giant bird. Peter told the others that it was he who brought Wendy to them. This is Wendy. She will take care of you, he told to the lost boys. They asked her to be their mother. Wendy quickly uh, assumed her duties. Assumed her duties by telling them stories and putting them in bed. In the meantime, the oh, pirates plan. The, the pirates plan to uh, steal Wendy, but Peter, the Peter, overhead them, floating a and he saved the children and Wendy. Wendy and her brothers decided to return home. The lost boys, this lost boy, lost boys eagerly, eagerly expect Wendy invitation to come live with her. Peter refused to go because he wanted to remind a little boy and have fun. The pirates learned of the children's journey and they began to fly from Neverland. The pirates seized, ah, the pirates seized them and the Peter found out the hook and they captured all his friends. As old to get revenge. Captain Hook reward. On the pirate ship, the children were being to prepare to walk the to walk the plank. While Wendy is tied to more to mast, Peter secretly Come on the board and word 
and by using tricks and false voice, he lead the pirates to the death, seeing his men die. Hook threw himself aboard into the waiting cross of the the patient crocodiles. Meanwhile, Amora's darling and Matt, their nurse waiting for the children, they written. They had left the nurse's window open, open for them. Just then, Wendy and her brothers flew and slipped into their bed. Safe and sound, the darlings adopt the lost boys. Peter asked Wendley to fly away with him, but she refused. She went to, she went once each year to clean his house for him. But each time, but each time they made, she saw him the little less clear. Peter watched her sadly. She grew from the little girl to young woman. He played, he played his pipe softly, but perhaps too softly to waken humans in grow, grown up world. I think this is the story. That's it? Yes. So. <clears throat> So the little boy couldn't see Wendy at the end. Peter Pan. I misunderstood that. What happened at the very, very end when uh, Wendy was faint or was it or the boy grew faint or <laughs> I missed that. He grew a little girl to a young woman. Oh. Well, that was a very nice story. You did a really nice job reading today. <clears throat> that was nice. So, <clears throat> um, say the word children. 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 See, <clears throat> you're not saying that quite right. You're saying children. It's chilled. You got to get that. D children. 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 That's children. better. Children. 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 Yeah. Children. <laughs> That's much, much better. Got to get that D sound in there right before the R. Children. So it's kind of a dr. Children. Children. What does it mean to walk the plank? I don't know. <laughs> well, that was um, on the pirate ship, right? Yes. So when they when you walk the plank, a plank is a piece of board or a piece of wood that sticks out over the water. And if you're made to walk the plank, you walk on the plank and you're eventually you have to go into the water. Right? It's a it's a form of punishment. What happens when you fall in the water? I would drown. <laughs> you would drown or you'd be eaten by the crocodiles, wouldn't you? Yes. So, yeah, walking the plank is not a good thing. <clears throat> That's a bad thing. A scary thing. So who, uh, who are the pirates? People who drive the ship. Okay. And usually pirates are considered to be bad people or naughty people because they go out and steal from other people and then run away in their ship. So a pirate, uh, they don't have a normal job. They go, Their job is to go out and steal things from other people, other ships. So yeah, they're, they're not usually good people. They're portrayed as as evil or bad oh, not nice and who was Tinkerbell a little fairy a little fairy and, and were there any pictures in your story yeah I was 
Tinkerbell. Is there a picture of Tinkerbell? She's usually um, depicted with a lot of light around her. <laughs> There's Tinkerbell. And and he taught the children how to fly. But wouldn't that be great fun to be able to fly? Yeah. Wow. That would be so much fun. So that's kind of a, a fantasy, isn't it? Yes. I had the first picture of Peter Bob. It's the first picture. Yeah. And is that Wendy? Uh, that's that's right. Wendy's that side. Yeah, Wendy, Wendy's talking to Peter Pan. Oh, yeah, that's Wendy, isn't it? Oh, Wendy's this side. She's not Wendy, she's Wendy's mother. Oh, okay, that's Wendy's mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wendy will sleep that side. Oh, okay. Because you saw three heads, see? There are three heads sleeping. <laughs> okay. That's not the nurse? Yeah. You sure it's the mother? Yes, because when he steps I can see another head. Okay. All right. Please. <laughs> Well, Wendy's teaching the children stories. Oh, oh yes. No, that's Peter Pan and and the Lost Boys, right? Yeah. She and Wendy, and her mother went, and her mother and father went out. Yeah, and she's reading the Lost Boys' story yeah. before bed. Uh, that's nice. It's nice to have a bedtime story, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> While I am sleeping, every time I ask my mother, Mommy, can you put me a rock by me? Because I love it. <laughs> While listening to that, I can sleep. Yeah. Well, that would be fun. Okay. Well, thank you. That was nice. I. That was fun. Um, see, I don't know. Were there any words in there that we should talk about? I picked, I picked out children and walk the plank. How about other words you weren't sure about? Neverland. Neverland. What do you think Neverland uh, is? place and I also saw one thing that is a movie. Yeah it, it's a yeah Neverland is a is an imaginary place um <clears throat> where the lost boys were right never neverland it's a place that's not part of the earth where do you think Neverland is? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have uh, an idea in my head that it's just somewhere up in the sky somewhere. <clears throat> Neverland. Anyway, it's a place that the lost boys go. And Peter Pan was from Neverland. Anything else? Shadow. Ooh, shadow. That's a good one. What was Peter Pan trying to do with his shadow? Was he trying to hide it or put it in a drawer? Or what was that? You read about that. Where is it? Can you find that part? 
leap out of the window, leaving his shadow behind. Oh, he leaped out of the window, leaving his shadow behind. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know what a shadow is, right? Do you know what a shadow is? Do you have a shadow? Yes. <laughs> we all have a shadow, don't we? If we're out in the sun or, or a light, a bright light is casting on us and then... The shadow is the part where the sun doesn't shine. Casting a shadow. It's fun. <clears throat> Have you ever tried to chase your shadow? Yes. <laughs> Did you ever catch it? Yeah. No. I also have one more story. You have one more story? About shadow. About okay. shadow. Once upon, that's a small one. Okay. Once upon a time, there is a lion in the forest. The lion is eating every day. She is eat he's eating all the animals for the cat. And the animals has argument. We have, he's daily eating the, the, the Domestic and wild animals were very less, but the tiger is eating all of us. They had an argument. After that, they decided every day one one animal have to go to lion, and they have they have to agree for the lion have to eat. One day, the small rabbit was was have to go. In. The old animals were saying bye to the rabbit. And while Robert was going on, he, she saw a rabbit. And she's a white rabbit, and she was so, um, so greedy of her beauty. And she seen her well. That is same picture of her is in the well. She got an idea, and she went to the land and say, the land saying, "Want this much small animal and this much weight." Yes, this king lion, while I'm coming, one lion in the well was screaming me, you, you only have to praise me, but not that lion, he said. And I was fighting with him and ran away from him and come to you. Okay, take me to the well, the lion said. And he, when he saw in the well, he saw the same picture and he... Uh, He's shouting on the water. He's thinking that his picture only he, screaming on him. That's why he jumped in the water and he's drowned. And the forest is so happy. <laughs> That's quite a story. Did you just make that up? Uh, I listen to so many times. <laughs> is that a story you've heard before or you just made it up? Which one? Did... A story. It's a story you've read before? Or it's just one you made up out of your head? No, nah, I listen to YouTube. You what? I listen to YouTube. Oh. <laughs> you listened in YouTube. Okay. I see. Well, I think we're about done here today sounds like you've had a really busy day going to the beach and eating ice cream and popsicles and <clears throat> enjoying I I went to church because my mother has been yeah, singing practice <laughs> and what do you take in mom teacher talk help talk what help talk about what yes Try to get your idea about any of the fruits, vegetables, nuts, and you have to tell what is the proteins, what is the problems, everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, I, and my mother had one a health talk about activated charcoal. We can use for anything for the problem, but one of the problems is our emotion will be black. Oh. But after. 
uh, we have to mix it in water and you have to drink after drinking the jack straight more water. And what's it for? For any problems. So it'll fix, it's a, okay, it'll fix, it'll fix any, huh? <laughs> Activated charcoal. Yes. Well, isn't it's that really black. black? Isn't it black and nasty? Yes. And is it fun to drink? Yeah. No, <laughs> I wouldn't think so. All right. Well, um, you have school tomorrow then, right? Yes. Okay. Well, you have a good evening and you have a good day at school tomorrow. And we'll talk Friday. Friday, I'm going to read this book. The Tiger <clears throat> Who Came to Tea. The Tiger Who Came to Tea. It's kind of a fun little book. It's really short. So it won't take us long to finish that up Friday. Okay. All right. Well, bye for now. See you on Friday. Okay. Bye-bye.